Now we're going to turn to some researchers who are in the labs trying to figure out what this virus is all about, and more importantly, working on vaccines. And so now I'm going to introduce you guys to Dr. Kate Broderick. She is an accomplished scientist and recognized vaccine expert working on discovering and developing DNA medicines in her role as Inovio's Senior Vice President of Research and Development. Dr. Broderick, welcome to The May Lee Show. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much for having me, May. Your career is all about uh, studying these diseases and viruses and pandemics and, you know, trying to figure out how to deal with them. So that tells us all that this is something that no one really has ever experienced before. Absolutely. Certainly, I have never experienced anything like this in my own career. And mm. just to give you an idea, I've worked on Ebola, I've worked on MERS, I've worked on Zika, I've worked on Lassa. So it's not a shortage of exposure, pardon the pun, yeah. to kind of other emerging um, viruses. It's just that this, the situation we're in at the moment, we, you know, as scientists, we're learning about a virus that we didn't even know existed right. um, a few months ago. So just that kind of that dearth of knowledge that we're trying to build up on a daily basis, it's it really is quite overwhelming. Right, right. Well, so tell me then, Dr. Broderick, what is so different about COVID-19 compared to the other viruses you just talked about, Ebola and MERS and all of those? Why is this one so different? Yeah, and, and I think it's, um, again, that I think can be confusing because, you know, we think of a virus just as an entity, but really they're all extremely have individual characteristics um, that, that make them, you know, all of them challenging, but right. certainly different in certain aspects. And the one thing about um, COVID-19, the virus that causes COVID-19 is its ability to spread. Mm. Um, and I think, you know, we, we've all seen um, that, you know, on a first-hand basis, you know, it started in that cluster in China and it's now really pretty widespread across the globe. I, I think as awful and as devastating as the Ebolas of the world are, they just didn't have that ability to kind of spread globally the, the what we're seeing with NCOV at the moment. And that's what makes it incredibly challenging right. to, to attempt to kind of control this outbreak. And so hard to detect because this it's asymptomatic in a lot of carriers. And that's what makes it, I guess, a lot more frightening in terms of the spread. Absolutely. You know, when I remember when I first read that people could be asymptomatic for 14 days and that is just a horrifying figure. That is absolutely not what you want to hear when you're trying to control an outbreak. Because as you, as you quite rightly mentioned, people are walking around not yeah. even feeling ill. I mean, right. they're not they're, they're not doing anything irresponsible because they don't even know they're infected. Right. Right. Um, so controlling the spread of a virus like that is is very difficult without the proper tools. I mean, you you really can't make up a worse kind of. I guess, virus, because it's so silent and, and so undetectable in that way. Well, let's.